Hey, what's up guys? It is Psycho or Sam here and welcome back to my channel guys and today I'm very excited to bring you guys a brand new video where I'm going to be talking about how you can actually get into game development. So a lot of people have been asking me this question, you know, how, how can I get into game development? Do I need a teacher? Do I need a school degree? Uh, mentoring, you know, what's, what's required? What are the best websites for me to practice coding? And so I thought that in this video I could actually share some quality tips with you guys and share some of my feedback and um, some of my experiences that I have gone through because I've obviously been in this industry for a very long time now uh, since I was 11 years old and I'm now 20 or actually turning 20 so um, without further ado guys let's get started with this video so I want to start off with a very basic question is a school degree needed to learn coding absolutely not and even if you do start at school and you want to you know learn coding and obviously you want to like rely on the school because you're gonna be able to learn the basics of the coding and um, of programming in one single language preferably or probably but I think that if you just go to like college like regular college you're probably just going to start with Java and end with Java um, unless you like you know go to specific lines or programs and you go for like web development then you're gonna be able to get into HTML CSS and these are not really like programming languages but they are more rather like scripting like really quick scripting which is absolutely not a bad thing like it's a really good thing that schools actually offer such you know programs to uh, for their students to actually work on but the problem is that the school is going to start basic and end basic probably so depending once again what college you're going to and stuff like that it might change and obviously also the country does make sure that you know these criteria do change a little bit but these are some factors that are going to play a huge role in this and it also depends on what country you come from so I I went to college in Sweden and I or gymnasium or whatever you call it and um, we started really basic with Java and we got into web development too and when we were programming in Java by the way it was OOP so object oriented programming so it's a little bit more related to computer systems while scripting in HTML and CSS is a little bit more to the web development side actually it's just to the web development side but you know you can uh, so, sort of like correlate them and uh, mix them up so they can actually create a game which is going to be web based and stuff like that but we didn't go that advanced and what I'm trying to say here is even if you're going to have like a school degree and get a school degree uh, if you're gonna go to college and whatnot I still suggest you to learn at home first and foremost or even if you have started right now to school and you're like getting through the basics right now repeat them at home and also get into a little bit more advanced parts by yourself at home as well. It's very important that you teach yourself more than what your school does, especially in programming, because once again, it's going to start basic and it's going to end basic, and you don't wanna stop at basic. If you stop at basic, you're not gonna be really different from other people. You want to be different and you want to be able to stick out and so that you can actually get a job you can start working as a freelancer and stuff like that now once again it depends on what you want to do with your life but if you're going to get a school degree and you want to study programming and you actually genuinely want to learn thoroughly how to code you should do it at home as well not only at school and not only the exams that school gives you but also at home practicing by yourself speaking of schools I also want to get into a very sensitive topic so a lot of people have been also asking me you know do you need a teacher to teach you how to actually code do you need to like have a mentor or anything like that um, I don't really think that it's worth it like you can definitely learn on your own if you don't believe me look at me I'm a very good example here like I learned coding I learned game engines game development everything that I know today including level designing uh, programming OOP uh, web scripting you know PHP HTML CSS all these languages I learned by myself I had no mentors I had no teachers I'm not saying that it should like it's gonna be bad if you get a teacher or anything but if you're not you know getting going to school right now or you're already going to school and once again we talked about this but even if you're going to school you're gonna be going through the basics and what I challenge you to do is actually get get like as soon as you get home just open your computer for like an hour and start programming by yourself teach yourself how to do it even if you do have a teacher even if you don't have a teacher 
you should still do it by yourself. But as a very easy answer to the question, you don't need a teacher to learn how to code. You can learn by yourself. You can teach yourself as it is called. And there are very good resources where you can actually start learning and also, you know, develop your skills further. Speaking of which, I actually want to talk a little bit more about this. So resources for learning programming. So there are many different websites that offer you classes and courses for teaching you coding. And some of them are pricey. Some of them, you know, cost a little bit and some of them are completely free. One of these that are very, 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 very good and really just completely free is what we're sitting on right now, which is YouTube. So this platform is incredible when it comes to tutorials. Uh, sponsoring myself, you know, sponsored by Psycho TV. This is a statement has been approved by Psycho. <laughs> No, but seriously, like YouTube is an incredible source for tutorials and an incredible platform for educational content as well. Um, YouTube is very famous for its gaming community and all that, you know, game development. Obviously, I'm also making videos in this industry, but like still the educational part of uh, YouTube is very, very good as well. Like even I make tutorial videos, but there are many, many different tutorial videos that are better than mine, that are worse than mine, you know, whatever. But there are just so many tutorials that you can actually find through YouTube and watch and learn coding. And that's personally how I did it. So I didn't, you know, go to all these different websites that they name these articles and stuff I'm not saying that they are bad absolutely not they are probably really good but I didn't learn through them I learned everything that I know today by my self educational program like uh, simply just going on YouTube learning something and then kind of like learning different stuff and then mixing them up and like sort of just learning further by doing so and um, learning how to implement code into a pre-made code. So I was like downloading stuff from the internet, like found from YouTube, uh, from a YouTube video. And then I implemented a code that I already knew or had by actually using that into the or implementing the code that I had into that new code that I had downloaded. And that way, I also learned how to actually code. I learned the API. I learned if I make, made a mistake, I checked it up online, like YouTube or Google. Unity's forum is very good also if you're working on Unity. And I checked it up and I was like, okay, so this is the problem. I made a mistake here. And then for the next time, I even tried to make that mistake, like reproduce the mistake so that I could actually memorize and learn from my mistakes. And that's a very important resource. Now, once again, I'm not saying that these different websites are bad or good or anything. I'm just not partial because I'm like, I'm neutral because I haven't used them. And therefore, I don't really know if they are bad or good. There are probably there are probably some bad and there are probably some good. But I only use YouTube, so I can also just refer to YouTube because of that. And so let's say that you have now started, you downloaded Unity, Unreal Engine, CryEngine, whatever game engine you have picked, and you started and you don't really know what you should do. So first and foremost, you should actually just start off by making small games and learning the API. So First and foremost, absolutely the first thing you should do is open up a YouTube tutorial or something on that line and um, just kind of follow through the video and see what that person, he or she is doing in the video, like how he or she is programming and what they are actually thinking when they are programming because obviously, like, or actually probably they are going to be describing what they are doing. I do because I'm like, well, now I'm thinking this and that in my tutorial videos. And so if they do, you know, you're going to get an insight of how they are actually thinking when they are programming. It's not magic. It's just the way that their mentality, our mentalities are different from um, like regular people, if I have to say so, which sounds really cringy, I know. But like, it's not that we're magi magicians or anything like that. It's just that we are thinking in a different way because we have uh, trained up our or practiced our skill of problem solving. So when we actually encounter an error in our code, we know what to search for. We know what to look for. And that's what you're going to try to learn at first stake. And as soon as you feel a little bit more confident and comfortable with, you know, whatever API you're using or different or whatever different game engine you're using, let's say you're using Unity and you feel comfortable with Unity's API a little bit, like you're getting used to the engine and all that you should start making small games. If you have a big game in your mind, write it down on a note and just place it on the table for the moment being. You should not focus on making a big project as your first project. You should always aim at making very small games, very small systems, 
just to try your skills out. And also, you know, obviously the first like five times of making them, you're going to be following a tutorial and you're going to need to, fo you're going to feel the need of following a tutorial. But as soon as you, you know, get to like 10 projects, like small projects, not, not projects that you're going to spend months on, just small projects that you're going to like make in a few days or so. As soon as you feel a little bit more comfortable, you're going to be like, well, I already know this code, so I can actually write it on my own. So from there, you're going to be starting to develop your skills as a programmer. And from there, you can actually start picking up your big project that you were planning initially. And once again, like we have already talked about this a little bit, but I don't think that it's worth finding mentors or specific teachers to teach you how to code. You can always do it by yourself if you're feeling comfortable. Even if you're not feeling comfortable at first, uh, like trust me, you're gonna get good at it. Uh, it's just going to feel better and better by the time you start learning because you're gonna go back at one of your codes and you're gonna realize, hey, holy shit, I'm actually learning. I know this code from my head and not because I've sat down and memorized this code like read it two, like two hours straight. I just know the codes. I know how to write them. And you're going to feel like you're like a, some sort of magician. You're going to start bragging to your friends. <laughs> Trust me, it happens. But it's, it's for the matter of fact, as a matter of fact, it's not that you become like a magician or anything. It's just that you're starting to develop your skills as a programmer and you're starting to learn how to actually use the API for that specific engine you have used or picked to use. So if you're using Unity, once again, you're going to feel like, well, I already know how to implement a rigid body and then I can also, you know, turn off the use gravity system or use gravity like variable. And I know how to do it, not because I memorized the code, but I just know how to do it. And it's going to feel weird at first, but you're going to get used to it. So before I end this video, guys, I just want to get into conclusion. Um, so how do you start exactly when you're at scratch? So you're at bottom floor and you want to get into game development. First and foremost, pick a game engine. Search for game engines, watch my comparison videos, they should be helpful. And even if they are helpful to you guys, I still I would still suggest you strongly, recommend you highly that you still watch other people's videos too, because the more insight you get from different people, the more perspectives you watch from or view it from, the more you're going to learn because it's obviously going to affect your final results and final thoughts of game engines. And um, as soon as you pick a game engine, you should just start by giving it some time and learning the API, the UI, the game engine itself. And um, then you can start start moving into the programming part. And as soon as you you know go into programming, start by learning the API. Start by learning what the API stands for in that specific engine. If you're using Unity, learn rigid body, learn how to use gravity, learn how to create planes, 3D objects, you know, a landscape or a terrain and stuff like that. It's going to be similar in Unreal Engine and all these different engines too, but they have specific or different names. So you should just kind of find out what their names are and um, how you can actually get into it and also read the documentations. I'm actually going to link some useful documentations in the description down below. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So after you actually learn the API a little bit, you can actually start by creating a few small games just here and there. You don't have to like spend all day long. Even if you have like a job, you should go to your job, work all day. And then when you come back, you're like, well, I'm not really that tired. Well, open up Unity or whatever engine you pick and sort of just try to go over what you've learned and repeat or like do a repetition of what you have actually learned in programming so far. And you should be good to go after a while. But let me tell you this, don't hurry up, like don't hurry up. Just don't rush it up because it is going to take its time. So give it the time it needs. Give yourself the time you need to learn coding. Some people learn it faster, some people learn it slower. And it doesn't make a difference in the end because everyone learns and everyone can learn. So it's just about your will and it's about how much you want to invest in terms of time. And even if you spend some money, it's just about how much you want to invest into it and how much you want to learn. So go for it, go all in. And if you have any questions, if you're worried, if you're scared, you know, you're intimidated to get into coding, game development, level design, and whatever it is, let me know in the comments down below. And actually, let us know in the comments down below because we have a beautiful community here which is going to help you no matter what. Even if I'm not able to reply because I'm sleeping or whatever because our time zones are different, my community will be responding to you because we always trust each other and we are very, very helpful in this community. So if you're a new viewer to this channel, I want to welcome you first and foremost. I hope you enjoy your stay. And once again, if you're wanting to get into game development, and if, even if you don't, but you just have any questions, you want to say something, let us know in the comments down below. Don't be shy. 
just let it let it out and we will be responding to you but besides that guys i want to thank you so much for all the support so far and i also want to thank you all so much for watching this video i apologize in advance that this video was a little bit long but i may i just wanted to make sure that it's quality i don't care about the length honestly if you feel like this is way too long for you i mean I don't know, like there's nothing I can do. I just want to make sure that I always, always, always share quality tips and tricks for you guys and share my own experiences so that I can actually teach you guys the best way I can. And I hope you all enjoyed. I hope you all found this helpful. If you did, make sure to hit the like button down below, guys. It really supports me a lot. And also leave a comment once again if you feel like you need any help, if something is unclear, or if you just have any questions, or even if you just want to say hi. I mean, you're always welcome in the comments. And um, hit that subscribe button also if you want to see more cool videos like this related to game development. And I'll catch you guys in the comments. Peace out guys. Bye bye.